Hello, Malcolm. Hello, everyone else. Oops, my camera's all crooked. It has a tendency to wander around. I think the uh, cable tension pulls it around. It has, uh, I mean, it's just sitting on its little mount, but it has a little mount that's meant to actually clamp over your monitor. I just don't like having the camera stuck over my monitor. I prefer it sitting over there where it doesn't bother me. Anyway, welcome back to Underrail. Exactly. We have a few things to do. Where are we? We're in Core City. In the slums. Oh man, we have a whole bunch of stuff. I think we should put our stealth boots back on. Although, I don't know, I mean, those siphon leather boots are really good. Uh, we're gonna put that Mark III on the stack there. We have no Molotovs. Gracious gravy. We've been in there. I guess we'll head out to the south and just stay on this lower level, eh? Go. Oh! It's, uh, what's his face? Blanket. Stop bothering me! Dominating! Yeah! You got him! What do you want? Me alone! Please don't disturb me! Kill him! Tear his heart out! He's watching Arena, right? But he's got stuff in here. And I always do this to poor Blanket. Every time I play the game, turn off his power. No! No! Quickly steal his things. He turns his power back on. We go around, we turn off his power. Who's doing this? Stop, please, we take more of his things. Okay, Blanket, alright, buddy, alright. I'm gonna raid his fridge, too. This time. And, uh, not again! Oh no, we both got all wrangled up. He's stuck in here? There he goes. I'll take his cans, too. What a jerk. I would shut the door on him. There he is. Hey, Blanket. Oh! Alright, buddy. Ah! Sorry, Blanket. It's pretty cruel. A robed figure. Working in an electronic lock, are you? Mm, so, I better save here because... Oh, I, I better kind of tank up, too. Oh, wow, we've got three of these? That's great. Um... There we are. Ooh, are we ever out of those? I won't worry about the shield. Knife is charged enough. I should probably grab the old gut popper rounds there. So this robed figure here. Do -do -do -do. 390 health. 150 size. Uh, a little ahead of us. But we have a shield and many techniques. And now I'm talking as though he's my enemy. But instead, I should talk to him, eh? You spot a robed figure doing something to an electronic lock. Look. Hey, that's one of the few typos in the game. They do make a few grammar errors that are really characteristic of uh, English as a second language, and it feels like Slavic errors, although that's just a guess. Um, that's one of the very few typos in the game. They're rare. He had just turned it, turned his head away from the direction you came from and was checking out the opposite one, giving you a bit of extra time during which you will not be observed approaching him. There's a hacksaw in his hands, its screen casting light inside his hood, illuminating his confusion, or maybe irritation, or most likely a bit of both. But then he senses your presence. He calmly conceals his hacking device and walks away as if nothing unusual is happening. What's behind the door? He ignores you and walks away. So, yeah, we're just going to reload, and we're absolutely just going to horrifically murder him after picking his pockets. <laughs> oh, everyone can see us so bad, eh? That's awful. Let's just see how we go. So, I got a good chance on those batteries. Nice. Let's try that some more, eh? Got his batteries there. Well, we've got all this stuff. Look at that. How's my. Oh, it doesn't look like I can do it. Oh, doesn't look like 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 it. Dang, I want all his stuff. But I don't think we can, unfortunately. Oh, wait. No, that's the nothing. Oh, I want that. 
I don't know if those will all be there if we kill him, right? Well, we'll come back out of stealth since it's useless to us. We're just going to start combat. Um, hopefully this electro stun wouldn't jump to the others. Maybe I better try the regular stun, eh? He resisted. Try the electro stun. Oh, no, that's not going to fly. The entire city will turn against us if we do that. Hmm. I wonder if I could make them leave by starting combat. No, that I don't know about that either. Uh, I'll go shut Blanket's door for him while I'm thinking. There we go. Okay, we've got to stab and murder this fella. We'll just start combat and we'll see what our chances are with the knife. 70. So let's try the old McFlurry. Oh, you suck, inbred. Inbred. Yo, I'm just trying McFlurry again, eh? Just going for it again. That's the stuff we like to see. Then let's try that stun, eh? Stunned him. Oh, he is so dead now. Oh, they do run away. That's kind of good. There's some of them did. Carved up and dead. Ah, brilliant. <laughs> but he came right back. Okay, I hope we get all that delicious treasure. Oh, it looks like it. That, that, that. Eye of Chort. This medallion is generally worn by military personnel of Institute of Chort. Three points. A little money. Some stuff. I mean, I guess we can kind of tear it down. That is desirable. That is okay. That will tear down. That will tear down. We're now overloaded. How are we overloaded? How is that possible? Oh, look at all these uh, cheap suits. We've got two robes. We'll get rid of those. And then what's that? Cheap. Get rid of it. And that. Very cheap. Get rid of it. I mean, we're not going to bother repairing it. That one's worth money and we did repair. Get rid of that. Keep our cave hopper. And as to all these boots, oh, we keep our cave hopper. Uh, the mutated dog are pretty cool boots, but they're not worth much for the weight, so we are going to just burn them. Same with these pig skin. They're not worth it for the weight. Let's see these. Not worth it for the weight at all, even repaired. Again, the same. We're just going to kill it. We'll keep our siphoners for now. They're not really worth it for the weight either, but they are handy for combat, eh? I guess I'll recycle this other balaclava. Get it out of there. <coughs> don't know why I didn't do that before. Let's we'll see if we can do these knives. We don't need them. Good, we can. And then any really bad guns, like really bad. <coughs> Doesn't seem like it. I mean, they're not great, but it's all fine. <coughs> oh, and this thing. That's really hard to sell. It doesn't count as a firearm. Weighs three, worth six thousand. We'll hold it for the moment, eh? Let's make some repair kits. Yeah, split those. And then uh, do that. That should make a nice smooth number of them. I should have made some little ones, actually. Oh well. I'll make little ones next time. I don't have enough to make an advanced mech kit. I should just wait for ten more scrap, eh? Yeah, I think we'll just wait for ten more scrap. We'll probably have some rags to dump on, buddy. And maybe some other low-value junk. What are those weigh virtually nothing? Ah, uh, anything really losable? Not so much. I mean, I suppose we could just dump the brass. We don't need it. It's not worth really anything. Uh, okay, 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 that all seems fine. What am I going to do with two EMP mines? I'm going to get rid of them for now. Oh, I might regret that. What if I have to fight bots? I'm not heading for any bots right now. We'll just remember those mines are there, right? So we could head east or south from here, or down from here, or west from here. Oh. Well, I probably want to get round to the stores. Oop, I'll definitely uh, switch back to regular bullets, eh? Where are we here? Zoners and barrels. 
Oh, we're in an upstairs area. Okay, we'll look in here. A little fabric scrap, sure, whatever. Let's see this. Lock picking 45. We can do that with a base pick without enhancement. Head in here. Nobody seems to care. Crossbow super string. Worth grabbing. Sorry that we bought any if we did buy it. I think we did, though. Okay, there's a ladder, there's a door, and there's more. Well, let's go ladder, right? We're down here. Lock picking 50, we'll just grab the jackknife, eh? Where is it, where is it, where is it? There it is. Alright, then we can do that with a base pick. Lock disabled, we'll pop in. You discover trap door. Two boxes. Six regular bolts, five hollow point seven six twos, a bunch of stuff. Some uh, moderately good seeker goggles, a fairly good seeker lens that's actually at the outer edge of our abilities, a circular wave amplifier of high quality, a smart lens of moderate quality, two electronic scrap, and a sonic headband frame, which I suppose we'll haul for the moment, but I. Other than Ezra, there's very few places we're going to be selling that. And then there's another ladder going up, is there? Mm hmm what do you know? I have a funny feeling that we wouldn't be stupid to start combat before we went up that ladder, if it will allow us to do that. It does. Oh, look. Boxer. 360 hit points and plenty O muscles. Let's go for the stun, right? Boink. We'll move in, and uh, he's still stunned, so we're going to hit him with Flurry. Oh, 49% even with Flurry? Let's see if he burns. Yeah, oh, he burns. That's good. That should bother him a little. It burns, make it stop, arg. He's still not stunnable, so... Oh, he'll probably burn to death, eh? This is too hardcore, he says. I think he'll die. No, I'm on fire. I cannot believe he is not dead. That's impressive. Well, let's punch him out. Poing. Smoke. Bleed. <laughs> That's pretty horrible. We're pretty bad people. We broke into this dude's house and murdered him. Basically. That, there's no putting icing on that cake. We broke into this guy's house and murdered him. Two shots, some of the meds, 13 credits, a few bullets, a battery, and some boxing clubs. It's in the barrel, a lockpick, two scrap. I feel a little bad. I wonder if this guy actually has any plot significance, you know? He might. Ooh, burr or poison bear trap. I'll take it, right? Ah, the Mini Izu. A small 5mm old world submachine gun equipped with a silencer. <clears throat> Gets one extra burst shot. And it's 5 and 100 critting. So that was an unremarkable gun. I wonder if that would make a good stealth gun. If it was tuned up by the other fellow. A cloaking device. <clears throat> a visible light deflection field generator. Commonly known as a stealth generator or cloaking device. Increases user stealth by 26 and evasion by 13. 17 plus about 6 per round or whatever. Hmm. Again, you just want more energy in the things. They do use a lot of power, obviously. Fascinating. We could actually almost use that thing, eh? Maybe I should hang on to it. How much does it weigh? Uh, a little under 1. So it's not light, but it's not heavy. Have those rounds out. See, that's a nice little LS hammer. Ooh, it does a lot of damage. My, that's a nice handgun. Goodness gracious. Unfortunately, he wanted to pummel us instead, so he paid that price. Right, let's go over here. Hey, guys, avoid the edges. Survival is difficult here. Okay, yeah, I agree. Let's go in here. Lock picking 10. Clicked. Locker. Lock picking 35. Lock picking 80. Desk with 30 credits and a net, or 30 charons rather. So can we do this one? I think we can. 
A uh, pair of rat hound leather tabby boots. We'll just take him, whatever. Uh, we can't do that other locker. Not gonna happen. Not anytime soon either. Now we head up here and we've got a gang. Gangsters. Gangsters. And if we go near them, they will indeed attack us. So we might as well just do the right thing and clear the town of these filthy vermin by blasting them with all of our worth. Oh, I got two of them anyways. I'm gonna boogalooga dooga over here, eh? I wanna live, please! That's the stuff. Okay, so we got one with a pistol, one with a crossbow. Oh, burst fire could hit chuckles here, eh? Oh, it's so likely that it would, too. I'll try the burning of flames and burning, eh? Yes, he is burning of flames. I'll just run around here, eh? That's a good... Now, these zoners, they should run the other way. Run the other way, Grandma Zoner there. Oh, no! Oh! Oh, that's disappointing for Grandma Zoner. You mean devil, eh? You mean, mean, bad man. Uh-oh. I think they might kill me now. Um. Okay, then. Well done there, Chonkles. Okay, he's gonna shoot up with something and attack me now, eh? Yeah? Uh-oh. Oh, no. This might not go well. I'll pin you to a wall, Zoner. Well, yeah, it looks like he did just that. Disappointing. Alright, so we're gonna try that some more. Uh, I'll try to remember to use all of my good equipment. Okay, so one down, and we do the burst blast. One more down, and this time one burning, and quite likely to burn to death as well. And we still have the energy to boogie over there, or we could just... Oh no, what did I do that for? Well, now I'm here, eh? Oh, that's really disappointing, eh? Well, he's gonna die. That's good. There's pistol and shotgun, same as last time. Now that time his grenade wasn't such a bad idea. Don't zone me out, bro. Uh, yeah, so let's stun crossbow. This pistol's less of a threat. We'll just take a shot, and then we'll rush him. Pistol will have time to set crossbow on fire. Nice work, pistol. Just gonna go ahead and blast him. That nah, didn't do enough. Over here. He'll run over there. Maybe he'll burn to death and maybe he won't. Oh no, not again. Oh no. Oh, he really messed me up really badly. Let's just do that. Our shield's long gone. We really need a better shield. I'm gonna stun his butt now, eh? Hope there's no one else around. Doesn't look like it. I have no AP for that, so I'll do that instead. And then, yes, rush him. Should be able to finish that guy. I'm gonna go ahead and just, yeah, let's do that. Now, I don't know where Crossbow's at. He's over there burning, and I think he may burn to death, so I'll try to get back out of his sight. Oh, no. Ah! Oh, and he would have burned to death, too. I'm not out of my depth, I promise I'm not out of my depth, right? Let's just do that. And, now that we've got two of them on fire, let's do that, right? Okay, and I blew myself up. Nice work. Perfect. Okay, star combat. Toss the granuloid. That's good. Fire the blastings. Very effective. Shields up. I'm quite pleased. We'll just run over here. That went well. That's Crossbow, I think, over there. So Crossbow's the fellow we want the most. Uh, I'm going to chance hitting the zoners. I don't think I'm going to. Did not hit the zoners. So now I've probably got a really good 
hit chance there, and then we're just going to rush him. The other one will be coming around. Yeah, there he is. But I'm right up on this guy. What is my chance with the knife? 62. I'll just use standard instead of uh, flurry. Looks like flurry it's good to use if you have extra capacity. Alright, get out of his way in case he gets around off you. Yeah, he's healed. Oh, snap. Dang, him and his grenades. Terrible. Let's attempt the stun. He's stunned. Take a shot. He's going to die. There we go. Shields down. Wow, that was a little rough, eh? That was a little rough. Hey, zoners. Grandma zoner. I like making myself varied barrel soups just to keep things interesting. Don't make any sudden moves. Live and let live. That's all I can say to you. Alright, gangster. A shot, some money, another robe, a useful trap, another one of these EMP mines, we'll just leave it. Pick leather, leather overcoat, fine, we'll pull it and disintegrate it. Take that, take that, take that, take all of these. I'm overweight already. A nightmare. Absolute nightmare. Can't believe I'm overweight already, man. So, that, that, that. Uh, I guess I'll leave the rounds, but I'll take that other stuff. Maybe I should take the rounds, just on the thought that I'll probably be able to deal with them. Yeah, let's do it that way. Let's take those rounds. We'll dump the cheap rounds, you know. Oh, he's got all these useful things. We'll go over to this barrel, or actually we'll do both barrels. Ah. Core city plans. We get a point of experience. How nice. And some organic gel electrolyte, sure, whatever. Anyway, we're in range of a barrel, so we'll do our recycling and sorting. We'll dump any trash. A recycle item. It's going to be a lot of trash jackets to get rid of here. Yeah, we got a few, and they're heavy. So that one's the one that's worth money now. How's that one? Yeah, I guess we'll keep it. Oh boy, get rid of those cheapoid boots, get rid of those boots, get rid of the helmet. Yeah, it's not going to end up being worth a lot. It's not heavy, though. It's the thing. Okay, how's that crossbow? Ooh, it could end up being worth a fair bit. Let's take out those gloves. Empty all weapons so we can just isolate them. Whoops, more expensive rounds. And let's kill the cheapest weapon. 2146, that'll be the one, right? Uh, we'll kill that cheapest weapon. Maybe we should kill another weapon. What am I? 188. Oh my god. Yeah, I better kill that crossbow. Oh, it's out of our skill range. Alright, I'll kill the chemical pistol. It's out of our skill range. Re. Okay, I'm gonna dump the chemical pistol. It's going to be hard to sell. I think I'll dump the overskill crossbow as well. Pick him up later or not, eh? Still at 182. Good lord. Some repair kits. Good lord. What a disaster. Oop. Okay, got two of those. And we'll get one advanced mechanical, which is not really... Like, we're kind of need those ourselves, right? Alright, let's get rid of all cheaper rounds. Actually, just all... Just dump useless rounds, unless they're specials. Okay, now we're getting pretty close. Um, yeah, there's probably... We'll dump that. We'll dump that fabric scrap. We're in weight. Good lord, eh? <clears throat> oh, there's another unsearched corpse. No, we've done him. Well, that was crazy. Let's see what's south of here. Ah! Fascinating. A large sealed building. I heard someone eating nearby. Interesting. Oh, there's some gangsters in that room. Well, we can see in through here. Can't see much. Explosive barrel. Take this barrel. Old World Booze Bottle. An old bo empty bottle of deer beer. Two points of experience in a lot. Okay. 
Okay, well, it looks like that's that for there. Just someone's ancient drinking zone, eh? Oh, there is, uh... There's an entrance. I can't sleagle over there, can I? No. Ah, uh, there's an entrance. Well, I actually do know what's in there. But, um, just want to go in there anyway. Biocore technology catalog fragment. We got a point. That's good. So I guess our wandering isn't profitless. Check this barrel. A rag. So there's gangsters in here. You know what? And it's, they're just, they will just ruin us, basically. Plus, we're way overloaded, eh? In fact, I probably shouldn't be down here. There's a motioner. I got motion sickness. Oh, we got some barrels to look at. I can hear the colors. All of them. Oh. Old world boost bottle. Two more experience. We'll leave the fabric scrap for now. Oh yeah, I could probably use uh, the... Oh my god, we have five heavy fabric repair kits. That's ten weight. I guess we're just repairing everything. Randomly then. I, I can use one. Go, go, go. Yeah, okay, that's a lot of pointless fabric repair kits. What about those? Those need some fixing. There we go. Fix everything, right? Oh my god, that just took 10 weight off us. I really should have checked on that. Well, that's okay. Uh, Hobo. Let's watch some arena. Stares at you nervously. You're alive? Are you? Are you? Now, this motion stuff. <clears throat> well, we might learn more about it later. Hmm. Looks like computation units uh, submerged for cooling, eh? Little room over here. With some computation units being maybe partly taken apart, I'm not sure. Well, it's just. Yeah, there's nothing around here. And. No power. Okay. Off we go. Oh, right, we're supposed to report our capture of Burgos Egg. I forgot. Alright, let's leave this area. We'll return to it. Let's see if this gets us to the front area of the town. Let's see where we are here. Oh, I'm down at the sewers. Alright, we'll go by elevator then. It's free. Up we go to Common City Gate Metro. We will check and see if Buddy spawned an under pie. Oh, look at that, eh? A crispy, glistening meat beckons you closer. Watching it turn feels like subjecting yourself to a gastronomical something delicious. Let's face it, people need to eat, otherwise they die, right? He's got two super pies, and he'll buy one food stuff, so we'll sell him that can of stew he so stole off poor blanket, eh? Great. Ooh, 112 credits. Oh my god, that stings, eh? But the crispy bacon beckoning meat, eh? Did bring us in. He was right. And it was delicious. I took a bite off it while he wasn't looking, just wiped the grease off my chin. The other people were like, um... Well, he's heavily armed and we don't know him, so we're just gonna walk. Mo later will be like, hey, there's a bite! Oh, I've gotta take this whole piece of meat down now. Actually, no, Mo would just, like, cut away from the bite and keep serving it. Alright. What do you got? What do we want? Do we need that? We know it. He'll buy that cloaking device. Can we build a better one, basically? Maybe I should hang on to it. Maybe we should hang on to all of this crap. I did want to build a new shield. So we've got a high. We've got a potential medium. Got a bunch of those deedle dabblers. What else do I need? I don't think there's anything else we actually... I think we have enough to build the Cursed Shield as is. Alright. I'm selling those. We do have a spare one of these to sell. Oh, and we can sell our old... Blaster. We need to repair our new blaster, but it's a better blaster. Quite a bit better, so we'll sell our old blaster, and we've got this uh, shield here. 
So actually that, he won't even be able to afford all that. <clears throat> we kind of want to build a new knife. I don't know if we want a zap knife. I, our energy knife is just too devastating. I'll wait till we find another energy thing, eh? I don't think a zap knife is going to be worth it, is it? I don't know, man. Oh, and what is the quality on these? 85, that'd be nice. And I suppose we probably need some batteries. We're not doing terribly on batteries, actually. So let's just hold on here. So we're going to have to buy, yeah, we're going to have to buy some stuff from him. So should I grab that zap module just in case it's good for a gun? Yeah, although that puts it back into his camp, unfortunately for us. Okay, let's just auto trade, get our 213 credits. Then let's see about building that shield. Like, are we capable? I don't know, man. I bought all this junk for it, right? And then we'll just put in this one here. 71. Oh, no. 69. Oh, no, dude. Oh, that's right. We needed a lower grade medium. 55. What's ours? 54. Ah, uh, I think we're probably out of luck. Maybe I should take that 51 quality Zornifier. Where's our Zornifiers? God, I will just take the 51 quality one. Mm, damn it. I don't want to. Jeez. I always end up getting racked at this guy's store. He just takes all my money. He's awfully good at it, eh? And I'm, I'm not going to sell him that thing. Okay, fine. I'll just pay my credits. We still came out 100 credits ahead. I'm getting out of here. So we need a low quality medium uh, uh, modulator. Oh, hang on. Oh, it's too late. Let's see what you got. I already started conversation. She's not buying crossbows. Okay, I'm going to attempt to reload just to see if it works. Oh, it'll definitely work. Oh, did I shop at Hakeem's already? Yes. <laughs> Alright, let's go here, quick save, and try to get Derek to buy some cursed crossbows at least, eh? Useless! Although then, if she buys a crossbow, she'll probably buy, like, nothing else good, right? Oh, I might be locked in. And I, I sh oh, maybe she hasn't restored. No, oh, she's restored, and she's buying a crossbow. But now she's buying nothing else useful. The turkey, two medicines, oh yay, big deal. Oh, I'll sell her these two morphines. And the one crossbow, at least it's worth a buck. And those few little rounds that we're still carrying, eh? Alright, I'm not going to sell her the Thai chrome hair clip. I think I'm going to keep all the jewelry we find. We can do without the money. So what do we got here? Quality 75. I mean, that's very nice. What's our quality range on ours? Uh, we got one that's right close to it. Quality 71. What was the quality of the tungsten we had? I can't remember, but it was perfect. It was the perfect tungsten. I'll take that Mark III lockpick for sure. I don't think there's anything else here that's howling to us to purchase it. A strange range of things there. Take your one bullet. I'll take your one bullet. And we get 179 credits. That was unprofitable. Alphabet. How's it going, you psycho? Okay, I don't have to talk to him after all. Okay, Oscar. Okay, show me what you have. Oh, he's buying that attack vest. That's great. Uh, we're keeping that frame. We're keeping that frame. He's buying the helmet. I should have repaired it. He'll take that low-end HE grenade. He'll take this knife. Uh, he'll take three melee weapons. I'll sell him the boxing gloves, eh? I'm not going to sell him our ripper hook or whatever you call it. Two firearms. So, do we want to keep the CZ and ZC99? Nah, 
let's sell it. It's a sweet gun. We will keep the mini easy. And we'll sell him that. Okay. That's uh, about the extent of what I'm willing to hand over. We'll take those special rounds there. Maybe I should take a few regular rounds. I don't know. We've been holding out pretty well with them. What else has he got, right? Oh, okay. Gonna be grabbing that. Now we just need a laminated vest to go with it. I should almost grab that one as well, just because we actually need to own those things. Um, and that's about that. He doesn't have anything else enticing. We just need one of them red vests now. So we get 90 credits out of that. We're not too overloaded. Alright, let's go turn in our mission upstairs, eh? <clears throat> Hopefully they don't claim an emergency and have us rush off to do something else right away. <coughs> Pardon me. I'm not going to go face uh, the Invictus. I don't think we're ready for that. I don't think we're ready for that. We might be. Maybe we could. Maybe I'd get lucky. We do have a good sort of complementary set of abilities on the whole. Not bad. Let's head into JKKA. We haven't been back for a little while. So we found Bogdan Glornovich. Ola! Hey, bro. There he is. He's got 330 health and kind of a cool outfit. Vivian. Hey, friend. How's life treating you? I found Bogdan. You did? What happened? He attacked me on sight, so I was forced to kill him. He attacked you? Drats, that's horrible. Did you manage to learn anything about the whole situation? Well, he met some man at the same slab of beer in Hardcore City Bar. Then after they had an argument, they both left for drop zone, but I only managed to find Bogdan. That's interesting, but far from explaining anything. <sighs> so, Melkor the Shadow, friend, I guess your first mission has been accomplished. Here's something for your efforts. She gives you 300 Stygian coins and a freaking crossbow. Well, maybe that'll be the one we use. You did what you had to do, and we'll take care of the rest. Now that Ola is here, we can discuss your next mission. She stops to think for a second. Or better yet, introduce you two. Finally, Melkor the Shadow, this is Ola Halidorson, the man I've told you about. She whispers to you. You know, the bald guy. Hey, what's with the whispering, Vivian? The bald man genuinely laughs at the joke aimed at his expense before he turns to you. He is a wide-shouldered man of average height with an informal attitude, much like Vivian's. Hey, bro. Nice to meet you. And Ola, this is Melkor the Shadow, the ugly one. Uh, ugly and proud of it. Excuse me? Ugly and proud of it. Sweet, he's got a sense of humor. That's hardcore. Now that you two know each other, we can finally discuss your next mission, friend. Alright, ready. Lovely, now that we're all here, we can begin, right, Ola? Thank you. Listen carefully, Melkor the Shadow. This is going to be a very important mission. We have received information that some very important men are being held hostage in an old warehouse here in Core City. JKK is going to attempt a rescue operation and get them out of there safe and sound. We have everything ready. There is only one problem. Uh, and what is this problem? See, the warehouse has, has a very troublesome security system. Before we can begin the rescue operation, we need you to disable the security system in question. To do that, we need to go through the sewers, then through some caves, and finally through the back entrance into the security room. All the way around. I'll explain everything when we get there. Lovely. I think Ola got everything covered. Time is of the essence here. Once you're ready, talk to Ola. He'll show you where you need to go. Take care, both of you. We will. Boy. Uh, so I guess they are railroading me a little. Our weight is not a disaster. Our equipment is not in bad shape. I'm a little sad about this, but uh, hey... Okay, this is how it's going to be. I'll go to the sewers beneath Core City and scout out the area first. Make sure everything is clear. After that, I'll meet with you, and we will proceed from there. 
How will I find you? It's simple. Enter the sewers from the docks, then take the first western tunnel. Follow it all the way until you come to a fenced-off cave entrance. Got it, bro? Got it. Meet you there. Okay, so Ola has vanished off to meet us, and there's probably no real-time pressure dealing with that. Vivian. Uh, we could ask her stuff. We could try to pick her pockets. Not gonna work, but, uh... Let's just see, eh? <laughs> Our insufficient skill. How about this uh, receptionist? Let's pick his pocket, eh? <laughs> Here's a sandwich, and we took it. Oh, yeah, we took your sandwich. We took your sandwich. Let's do some more. I don't know why I'm stealing people's sandwiches. Insufficient skill. Let's get out of here. Ah, that's great though, we got a little practice in. Maybe we should uh, pickpocket Ken Ho Man. Norman uh, Gentle Hobbit, or whatever his name is. We're just gonna face to face, like, hey Norman. Uh, me pockets, uh, su pockets. Uh. Ooh, money and bullets. Interesting. I wonder if I put on the cloaking generator, if I could stealth his butt out. Let's throw that thing on. Where is it? Need it or oh, where do we place it? Oh, you place it on your belt. Okay. That's cool. Let's, uh, how much power does it take? 46. So let's just charge it with uh, one small battery, I guess. It'll last us for a few seconds. Maybe I better throw two into it. It'll last us for a couple more seconds then. Okay, so, alright, now, so I just use Q, so I'll go 9 and then Q, he can still see me, I'm going to try and pick his pocket anyway. Okay, no, there's nothing, man. Okay, turn off the generator, turn off the stealth. Norman, how's it going? Can ho, what time could I do for you? Observance, you so close, Norman, gentlemen. Good, you're learning much. Okay, buddy. You're a freak. Oh, these guys left yet? No, they're still in here. I want to rob their place up, eh? Like, super want to rob their place. Okay, so Buddy's going to be waiting in the sewers, but I guess we don't have to rush that much. We'll go look at... Uh, Marty's little scavenger shop, eh? That commoner has psi power. Really? That's unusual seeming. The arena is going to be full for the Smasher Brothers fight. I wish we did get to watch a few of these fights, eh? Anyway, let's hope we don't run into trouble on the way to the store. Upper under rail is actually a pretty dangerous place. We're only going, a, you know, a city block or so. We're usually pretty safe, but there are bandits right there. There's a lot more to learn around here, too. Like, there's a whole facility. I don't think we have the skills to get into it. Welcome back, dear customer. Don't mind the frozen vents. As they say, low temperatures, low prices. That, I don't know who says that. Quality 110. See, that's the sort of thing we're planning to build. What's the quality on the one we're hanging on to randomly? 92. We'll just hang on to that, eh? Has he got any uh, stupid red vests? No, the devil he don't. Quality 77 laser emitter. It would be a, a, not that big of an upgrade. Quality 82 silent foam. It's beyond our usability level. Uh, that Zephyr isn't. Uh, that Zephyr is a little too far below. We'll grab that high risk scope because we're saving one for the other rifle that we're going to have fixed up, right? That's right, we've got to find a spearhead frame. Alright, what's that? Quality 103. Well, won't worry about it though. Quality 96, that's a nice little toy. Foo, I don't think there's much else here that we're really needing to buy. Hmm. 
I mean, the silent phone might be nice. Just to have in stock, I guess. Oh no, not if we're not doing leather armor next. And what's the quality on that? One! Oh, five! Wow! That makes you want to buy it just because it's hot. No kidding, eh? But it's so far beyond our skill level. I guess we can wait. So he's buying 13 foodstuffs, so we'll sell him those. And nine medicines. So we can totally pop him. Well, nine adrenaline shots. We don't really use them. We're buying four firearms. So we'll try for the good priced ones here. That's worth a lot. Uh, actually, we only have four to sell because we're keeping the mini easy. He probably can't afford all this. Oh, he can. Maybe he doesn't give very good prices. Well, uh, just need one of them little red vests now, eh? And other stuff. We, I'd really like to find a submachine gun frame that was bang on for our crafting skill so we could make a nice little rapid gun. Anyway, we made some money there, so that's great. We're really going to try and keep these transactions to the positive. Let's just head down here again. Do. Oh, snap. No, they don't like that. Oh, I'm dead. I think I managed to reload before they actually shot me. So they won't accept that behavior at all. What about in here? What about over here? Jeez, man. That was crazy. What a bunch of meanies. There, we'll shut this door. Maybe I should be in stealth. Now, nah, okay, just one round. Hey, tourist guide. It's some sort of an advertisement or a guide for people visiting Upper Underrail. Unfortunately, it's partially destroyed, but by the looks of it, one used to be able to have a lot of fun there. A point of experience? A really high quality polarizer that we can use on uh, our next, well, not our next energy gun, but an energy gun past that. Some pretty high quality antithermic tabbies. I guess we'll haul them, they're light. And a pretty high quality helmet that's actually good enough to be worth repairing for sale. If we had anywhere to sell it, which I don't know if we did. Okay. Now things start to get sketchier and sketchier and sketchier and sketchier. Let's go down the ladder, eh? It's getting cold in here. Frigid environment. Cold resistance. Oh, look at all that. It's going up and up and up. Oh, no. Wow, what? Is it going to keep going up? No, I guess that's it. Golly. A little electronic scrap will take. That stuff starts to come by. And actually, we do need electronic repair kits. Ain't nothing much in there. So this is the way into the freezing facility. And here's another ladder. That door isn't shut. Yikes, eh? Probably not safe in here. Maybe I should get stealthy right now. Come on, stealthy. Yeah, maybe I should get stealthy right now. Nothing much worth taking in there. Let's look around. Okay, that's freezing air. We're gonna go in and take our, our scrap, and then we're gonna get back out. So being in stealth in there isn't going to work too well. We just lost some hit points from that. We are regenning. Being in stealth isn't going to work for that. You're going to need to be able to move quickly in that corridor and see what's in there. Mind you, now there's a door over here. Now, what do I have? And then we have explosives, right? No do 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 I have that, and I have a couple of shock grenades. That's it. That's all, all we got. I guess that's what we're going to be working with. Sadly and painfully. Maybe I should stealth up again. Just pop this door. Okay. Trap detected spiders, eh? Well, let's try to keep real quiet in here. 
Some hexagen, eh? Okay, you know there's gonna be spiders in here, eh? Let's just see. Oh yeah, they saw me too. Oh, I am so dead. I'm completely dead. And rather, eh? Okay, we're gonna have to uh, handle that a lot differently. Come out of stealth. Shut this door so that they can't come up behind us like they were clearly planning to do, eh? The devils. So, start combat. Pop the door, raise the shield. And attempt a stun grenade right now. Good. And then we're gonna stick it out, soak up whatever hits us. Oh no, that's the end of us. I can't believe there's another greater coil spider over there. You know I'm leaving. That's way, way, way out of our uh, capabilities and we need to go. I do want to kill them, but uh, without more equipment at least, I can't. And those are rather powerful enemies. It might be a little bit too much of a challenge. Well, guys, stay away from Fort Apogee. That's where them Tectorit bastards dwell. Okay, I will. Um, yeah, that was freaky. We can't get in there, it's locked too hard. I don't think it would be very smart of us to wander off that way. I guess we'll just go back where we came, eh? Yes, we will. Let's go. We won't try anything on with these bandits. They're very mean people. They're very mean. They have a refrigerator, mind you, but that doesn't make them friendly. Okay, so my original aim last episode was to kind of loop back to Junkyard. And I'm sure I can leave Ola waiting. He's not going to cry, right? Uh, or I could go down there and see if we're up for it, right? So let's just go. Alright, let's go deal with Ola's problem. Let's put a little zap in our blade, eh? Shield's charged, Psyche is charged. I don't think we have any Psyche chargers left. Now we gotta get our way safely through the sewers. Uh, we're supposed to go west. Look down, can't clearly see the bottom. Aye, hi. Hi, you rotten dirty rat. Let's try the power stun. Ploing, and then just pionk. Pionk. Oh, the rotten thing. Oh, no, hey, hey, hey. You guys knock this off, man. Like, what are you doing, yo? Let's see if the siphoner can catch me. Oh. Oh. Oh, that's pretty awesome. I'm gonna go ahead and stun the alpha. I did some damage. I'll shoot the siphoner. Missed him. I'm gonna sit here, eh? Oh yeah, totally wreck him. Now I'm gonna machine gun the pair of you, eh? Ah, it didn't work. Now the siphoner's gonna come after me. No! Get out! Get out of here. Nasty. Okay, we got injured a bit. I don't know if I'll heal just yet, eh? Uh, I don't think there's anything to be found in any of these remains. There's a barrel over here, mind you. Okay. You know there's a door here. It's locked. Can't go in there. That's kind of disappointing. I wonder if there's a way to unlock that. I mean, I know you can go in there in other configurations. But I wonder how I get the key to that. Okay, it's a good thing we have some antique gas equipment, eh? Let's see this. Bear trap detected, go stealth. And let's try and pull that bear trap, eh? Disarm failed, insufficient skill. Really? Damn, yo. So I'm going to go ahead and step in the bear trap. I'm going to come out of stealth. I'm going to step in it and then bandage as quick as I can, hoping that the bear trap's owners don't come and get me. So, slow game. Step in. Oh, I'm trying to disarm it again? No. 
There we are. Oh, now I'm screwed. I messed up. They're coming, and I'll never find my bandage. My shield's not even up. Now oh, maybe we'll be all right. Oh, I think I better heal right away. Uh, shield's up. Rick the rat gets stunned, eh? And then we'll use our instant escape and move over here, eh? Oh, he caught me. Oh, you devil, eh? I'm just gonna spray and pray these two. I'm gonna step around the corner. That's crawler poison, so we're actually gonna need to take that off to avoid getting stunned. These guys just got very expensive, didn't they? God, that inventory is too damn full. I don't have the points to do it this turn, so we'll have to do it next turn. We have to take that poison off. I mean, we might successfully resist the stun, but it's not that likely. Alright, Rick, are you still on unstunnable? He is still unstunnable. Let's see if he'll burn, eh? Yeah, he'll burn. That will be nicely. Hi, Rick. And there's his friend. Let's see if his friend will burn, eh? Will you burn too? Do you also like fire? I thought you might like fire, just like your friend. Okay then. Just heading over here, we'll just uh, note that Chompus is here and shoot him. Ah, missed, but he'll probably burn to death now. Chances are good. Here comes Rick, he's all mad. Hey, okay, we'll stay out of that gas as best we can. He's not unstunnable anymore, so bang. That makes him so much easier to shoot, eh? Right, let's just stop here. Yeah, here comes Buddy. Oh, no! Damn, man. And a bleeding wound as well? Ah, oh, I got no psyche. I'm gonna use one of my psych boosters right now. Schlacked. That should give us... Uh, I think I can take him out with a frost, eh? Yeah, he's down. So we have a bleeding wound. Susan, this is not an appropriate time for that activity. Do I make myself clear? Thank you. God. I wonder if a bandage can work from this level of injury. Nope. We're gonna need a shot. Why can't I? Oh, I got a cooldown. Ooh, I sincerely hope we don't bleed to death, eh? We entirely could. No, we didn't, but uh, there was a certain amount of risk there. Okay, I'll use a cheap shot. Come on. Oh, still eight seconds. Oh, I'm on slow game. That's right. Speed game. I do have two more psych boosters. Good dog, Susan. Good girl. I do have two more psych boosters. Uh, I wonder if I should do a psych booster now. Not sure. Well, let's head in here. So he's got a scope tornado worth a buck. I'll take it. Some bolts. We'll take all special bolts. We're making a stash. A barrel. Barrel soup ladle. A plain ladle connected to a long pipe. It has to be long enough so that zoners can scrape the bottom of the barrel. Yeah, yeah. Two points. We're almost halfway up our level. Rat hound barbecue and a lock pick. 17 out of 30. We are halfway up our level. Now, Rick the Rat's corpse is there in that gassy bed. So what I want to do is probably run through the gas quick. Ah, uh, we actually got injured really badly by that. That's disappointing. I better use my bio equipment next time. So he's got two bear traps. I grab them for now. A rat head amulet. Some people believe that wearing this will give you the tenacity to survive in harsh environments where the food is scarce. Some mushroom brew. And the claw, an improvised weapon made from the paw and claws of a rat hound. Reasonable damage, some of it bio, I guess it's just dirty and horrible. Very low impact speed, quick, same as a dagger. Range melee, crit 5 and 100, normal for a melee weapon. Bypasses 80% of energy shield. 
35% chance on hit to inflict a bleeding wound that deals 100% damage over 3 turns. 35% chance to contaminate for 5 turns, making you take more damage. I guess the horrible burning and itching and disgustingness of it is just the start of it only. And yeah, it's got its things, eh? I will definitely take that. It's got its things. There's a barrel over here. And this is pretty much the way we're meant to go. Ah, uh, I think if I had enough agility I could cross over there. Don't know if that would do me any good. Maybe I'll put on my bio equipment right now. So, biotech suit, which actually needs a slight bit of repair. And our gas mask, which also is in almost perfect condition. Let's head back over there and see about that dexterity. Jump over agility 10. We can't reach agility 10. We don't have the skill level. So, uh, I'll take our gas mask and stuff back off, eh? Where's that balaclava? Because it does reduce our perception and detection. That's not great. There's our balaclava. We'll just pop it on. And where's our regular armor? Uh, padded cipher leather overcoat right there. Yeah, I don't know if I should recharge our Psyche right now or not. Oh, the dishwasher's peeping. The cursed wretched thing. I'll be right back. Oof. Well, I shouldn't curse it. It's a lovely appliance. I appreciate it a lot. Even if it does beep imperiously, I'm very fond of it. Agility 8 we can reach. So I'm inclined to go ahead and do that. You know, if there's a way over, then we'll use it. Where's our shoes? Where are our shoes? There they are. Okay. Now, I guess... Better put our regular stuff back on, you know? I think that might be smart. Anyway, let's keep moving. Let's try down here on the other side. See what we get ourselves into. Okay. Oh, and it goes this way, does it? I see. Oh, look at that. There's an autosave for the... Uh, frozen place. It's called Utility Tower. Interesting. So it's considered hazardous and important because it generates an auto save. Stuff that's hazardous and important does that, basically. Uh... Oh, I know what's in here. Oh. We need to go buy some Molotov cocktails before we go to the sewers, guys. I'm gonna go ahead and, uh, oh, looks like I have to go back the way I came. Yeah, looks like I have to go back. We need some Molotov cocktails before we come back here, man. Like, big time. We need a whole bunch of stuff. I have just realized that we are going to run into a whole bunch more things like spiders and more. And, uh, yeah, no, we we need to go re-equip. I've been running around without enough explosives for long enough. Where can I buy Molotovs? You know, there's a number of different places. We've got to get as many of them as we possibly can. And we need to leave this area until we have done exactly that. So I guess I'm going to need my bio suit for the next bit, eh? Where is my mask? Maskio, Maskio. Oh, I'm having trouble here. There it is. Inventory is way too full of junk. Yeah, we'll need our bio suit. Cross through here. And get on out of here. I'll put our actual gear back on. Okay, so we totally need to re equip. In the most hefty of ways. God, the music down here is awesome. I really like the sewer music. With all the buzzing flies. It's really good. And we're not even going to explore further. we got to go. we got to go. We need to buy Molotovs. 
as many as we can. A traveler. This place is massive. Now, we've been to the shops here pretty recently. We would have bought any Molotovs we saw. So, Foundry, we're not likely to get many. Rail Crossing, we're not likely to get many. It's going to be Junkyard, I know we can get five. And Southgate, I know we can get five. So, that's where we'll go. We'll go to Junkyard first. 25 Sharons. Junkyard it is. Okay. And the shores of Junkyard is where I'm going to leave you guys. It is about time I made my dinner. Hope you had fun. Sorry it's a bit of a short one today. But uh, we certainly found out a lot. Especially that we need explosives. So, next episode. Look, there's a bottle floating. That's awesome. There's a lot of stuff floating, actually, now that you look. See, see you then, and we'll, we'll set things on fire. Until that time. Bye for now.